xin chào xin chào <cười> It's located at Upper Bukit Timah, right? Mm. And we are having Vietnamese food. <laughs> we never did a vlog with oh, Vietnamese food. I'm so food. excited! I really, I miss like, Vietnam. I love all restaurants with this kind of murals. See, as you all can see, it's all the Vietnamese lanterns. Mm. You know, There's at our background, around. and all the yummy Vietnamese food right in front of us. You know what does Huang Hao means? Huang Hao, ah, yes. Huang Hao, Huang Sao Sai. Huang Actually, he. it sounds like Chinese. No. Sounds like Yellow River. Huang Hao. Huang Hao. Huang, 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 Huang He. Yellow River. Huang Ho. Oh, Huang Ho. Oh, yeah, yeah. Huang Ho. Yeah. Ho. So, actually, Huang. the meaning of this place is actually rap Empress or Queen. Empress. So, after we finish introducing hmm. the place, now we go into the food. Oh, yeah, the food. Don't yeah. you think that nothing here is what we find in normal restaurants? So, we are bringing you guys to tour and take a look at all the uncon a little bit more unconventional yes, correct, Vietnamese yes, food here. So I got myself the Vietnam coffee. Yes. Yes. And when we go to Vietnam, you just have to get coffee. So it's the drip coffee kind, you guys can see. I think it's drip finish already. Drip finish Vietnam drip coffee drip. with the condensed milk. Well, I just put here. So here, it's a sea salt lemonade. I think it cleanses your palate and mm. get you ready for the food. Not oh. like coffee, you know. Hey. Okay, okay. Coffee? You can Keeps try first, energized. okay? You try first. It, it just tastes a lot more robust and fragrant as ah. compared to uh, our usual coffee shop coffee. I think it cannot, cannot resist really. What is? It's actually very it's really fragrant like, le? Yeah, it's very fragrant. Like there's this, it's a very unique uh, Vietnamese coffee. Oh, it's not long long la. It's, it's not normal. the coffee niam kind. No, but the, it, it, the texture feels like that. Different, different kind of flavour. This one feels like Vietnam somehow. It's okay. Have you even been to Vietnam before? <laughs> no. Huh? Okay, so what we have here is the before it gets cold, it's the ale porridge. Very interesting because you don't normally find it, you know, in other Vietnamese stores because they take a very long and tedious process to cook. And to in order to make this ale porridge right, they have to ensure mm. that the ale is cleaned properly. If not, it will have that very briny mm. taste. The best thing about this bowl of porridge is the ale mm. is made with yellow ale. So it's a they use a, a bigger egg? catch of ale. Oh, that okay. is that has more meat mm. and less bones. Oh. Mm. So you realize that the eel inside this porridge, right? Bone they are free. all in legit pieces. Legit pieces. You know, sometimes free. like fish porridge, yeah. the fish will get disintegrated into the porridge mm. itself. But here, it's really like legit one whole eel. One whole piece of. Yeah. Ill. So the <coughs> the the choice of eel is very important. Mm. You have to choose the right kind of eel so that it will ah, not, you know, okay. get. Like disappear mm, within mm, the cooking mm. process itself. Ooh, okay. Oh. Mm, very flavorful. It has the it's sweetness salty. and umami. The aromatics of the coriander and the other spices used in the preparation process really comes through. Yeah. Right. And surprisingly, right, the eel is really like it retains the texture and the mouthfeel. It's a bit spicy though. Is it? There's a bit of spice in I, it. Because I mean, of the pepper. For, for, no, 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 there's chili. What other spice or herbs you all put inside the porridge? Ah? It's a herb. Ah? Yes. Is there a special leaf inside? There's a special leaf. Right, there is, right? Oh, I know. The coconut flower. Eh, 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 the something flower. Uh, ginger flower. No? Laksa leaf, no, cannot. Oh. That's why it's very strong. Felicia one, who is there? Ah, okay, I just eat lah, then you just eat. You, you explain lah, you do the topping. I need to my bowl. This is actually one of the chef's um, hometown food. They, it is very popular in mm. Vietnam, but you don't, like most Singapore Vietnamese restaurants don't do it because it's just too, like, too tedious to do already. Mm. It's amazing. Well, we have been eating a lot of porridge, but this is one of the... <coughs> one of the best. Ah. Mm. Another reason to eat the porridge all over again. There's a oh. side of peanut. I love peanut leh. Just give me a bit here. Okay. Peanut. Mmm. Put peanut. It's because the peanut is roasted and it has that crunchy mm. texture and that nutty fragrance. So what we have here is um, pork bun cha. There is this spring roll, rice noodle and mm. raw bean sprout. 
Yes. And it comes with a sauce. sauce. Ooh, it, oh, I smell. Oh, wow, it's those kind that will cause you to salivate, kind. Is it pork belly grilled pork belly? Yes, pork belly. I know, I saw it. Just now when I, I walked by, I also saw, I saw them they grilling were grilling the pork. the pork belly. It was damn good. Ladies oh first, man. <gasps> he straight away go for the pork, pork belly. Pork belly is the line. You know, like, when you see him cook, when you see the chef cook with pork belly, you just feel like that's the first thing you're going to touch in your entire meal. This is thicker than the normal meat fun kind. This is thicker than normal right. meat fun, but usually the buncha that I had before It's always outside, this kind? No, it's usually on a thicker. It's usually like thick bihun. Mm -hmm. And it's on the sweeter side also, I feel. The marinade is on there the There won't be side. any more pork belly for our producers. What? Oh, really? Yeah, oh Very good. He took everything. The meat is perfect. <gasps> I mean it's perfect. It was grilled on this um, electric grill. Uh -huh. So there's like about like 10-20 pieces uh -huh. all lining up. And uh -huh. they're all seasoned already. Ooh. Yeah. And it goes well with the sauce. That's like the most important thing I feel. The flavours have to go well. If not, mm. it will taste very contrasting. And that's why they probably marinate the pork belly a little bit sweeter. So mm. that it goes well with that sourish tanginess yes, of the, the sauce itself. Let's go for the lemongrass. Yes, I want this one. You know why I take this? Because this one got the most chilli and the most sesame on top. The whole skewer is on the lemongrass itself. You realize that? They actually blend the lemongrass inside. That's why the entire chicken meat is actually filled with the fragrance of lemongrass. Correct. Just the lemongrass being a skewer alone, I probably won't be able to extract that entire fragrance. Mm. It's quite nice huh? because I myself don't really like to eat lemongrass, to bite on the lemongrass. Mm. They cut the mm. lemongrass into so small pieces that it actually feels good with the chicken. Yeah. But you can still taste it. Yeah. It's not to the extent that it's overwhelming. So, we have this catfish. How often do you eat catfish? Catfish? Mm -hmm. I only eat it in China, never in Singapore. But catfish, you don't really see it being used because if you don't know how to um, cook it properly, it might be a bit mm. muddy in taste. It's very hard to handle the cabbage. Right. So let's try this one, okay? So this one, what they do is they wrap it in banana leaves. Mm. They use lemon mm. and a, an array of spices mm. to marinate. So this catfish, right, you have to marinate it for two days. Why two days? For the spice to be fully absorbed into the fish itself. Oh, so stubborn on the fish. Yeah, and not only that, you... What's so stubborn? Yeah, the one to get marinated. Hey. <laughs> you realize that catfish, their skin is a bit thick. Yeah. It's a bit gelatinous, a bit thick. thick so face. that's probably why you need two days for oh. the spice to, you know, no So you need more time to marinate. In. Yeah, so you, you need more time to marinate thick skin fish. Yeah. The marinade really got, it really gets embedded into the fish. Because it really removes all the muddiness. That's why you're so sweet. Ah. Why I give you all the bone part? Ah. They use a higher grade of catfish with less bone, but yet you still get all the bone. And I think that eh, both, both two big mouths that I eat all don't have. Eh. Fun fact also. The meat that usually has bone dry are usually the tastier ones. Really? Yes. Do you think that the cooked onions makes it very sweet, the natural sweetness? <clears throat> If you are trying to emphasize on the fish, right, I wouldn't suggest that method of eating. Mm. Because the onion will overpower True. the fish. And That's your like fish your will taste like uh, they will taste slightly underwhelming. Right? Yeah, it yeah. Like, so you, eat, you prefer to eat them separately? Eat them separately. It's like better to eat, to eat them, them together. Separately. Then your fish will not be primary anymore. With the fats, you eat with the fats, it cuts off that oiliness of the fats. This one is our last, last dish. What do you think it looks like? Like Onomoyaki. Ok yes, Okonomiyaki. Okono this is Vietnamese pizza. <laughs> this is actually a street food. So in oh. Vietnam, they just sell it like along the streets. Really look like pizza. <clears throat> oh, they got a crispy crust at the side, which I don't know what is it. It's just transparent. It might be like those... What? Um, rice. Rice flour. Paper. Huh? Rice paper. Oh, it's rice paper? Yeah. There's a, there's a ton of spring onions minced meat on top oh. and then after that they finish it with the mayonnaise and it's very generous mayonnaise a kid's dream so now <coughs> that you have tried all the dishes mm. yes which is your favourite? one, two, three You have five fingers, got five dishes, you make use of five fingers, no, right? No, it's just your favourite one. 
Make sense? Yeah. He's just trying to appeal to the to the owners here because they are looking at. <laughs> Okay, fine. The porridge wins. Okay, the porridge. The porridge is the best. This is really very nice. Like, I mean, like, I it's, it's, it's a, any any time you can eat. Uh, this is not common. I would say I, I like uncommon foods, lah. So fun fact is that um, they don't just sell Vietnamese food. They're also collaborating with uh, a distillery in Singapore, mm -hmm. where they sell very creative gins. Okay, yeah. So we are holding the gins. I have the Chendo gin. Rojak gin. Yeah, like, so it's quite interesting, yeah what is going on mm, so for alcohol lovers who come here you know just have a, you have a meal here already mm. you can check out their jeans and, and it's okay i feel for gin the price 108 yeah. yeah yeah there's also the meat. meat there's the meat so the meats are actually going at a cheaper price it's like 50 dollars 50 dollars and there's this mm. kopi lovers it's kopi <gasps> o liquor look at that Ooh, they got vietnam coffee they got kopi o liquor I didn't know of this place until yeah. I went to Google, I searched on some, right. some places. They are relatively new. They are open, I think last year, October. Mm. And it's located at Bukit Merah. It's a bit on a secluded area, a mm. secluded site. So you have to walk in all the way if they, your taxi or mm. your grab drops you at the um, car park area. It is very new. It's relatively new, but I would say it is like a hidden gem. Hidden I hate gem. using the word hidden gem, but then it is hidden it gem. It's quite hidden. It is hidden. It's a gem. It's a hidden gem. Let's, right. let's just face it. It is. Yeah, and we are probably the first publication that's talking about this place right now. The <laughs> food is good enough to be publicized, so why not? Good food must share, right? If you read our article and then decide to come here to write your article, you're welcome. You just have to burn them, right? I don't get it. Like, why? Credits to everyone who came and left very good reviews on this place. Mm. Yes, this is really a thumbs up and yeah. worth it place. I mean, they are 4.8 on Google review. How bad can it be? So, thank you for watching today's episode of Eating Out. We hope that you enjoy our recommendation today just as much as we enjoy having a meal here. Yeah, wow. it's so great. It just comes out. Eh? A when you're week. at a good place, eh? everything just comes Hiya. out. Hiya! <laughs> Please like and subscribe. Yeah, and we'll see you at the next eating up. Ciao! Adios! Zai Bye! <laughs>